Let's talk about thunderstorms. Pilots should fly with careful pre-flight weather briefings and planning. Here's what to look for. Try to get out of it as soon as possible. Thunderstorms exhibit extensive vertical cloud development. They are cumulonimbus and mammatus clouds mixed in. Tops of these clouds, 60,000 feet. That's twice the height an airliner typically flies. Now, there are three stages to a thunderstorm. The cumulus stage, the mature stage, and the dissipating stage. In this abstract example, the three stages typically manifest themselves, beginning with the cumulus stage. Then it changes to the mature stage, and finally, the dissipating stage. The three stages shown here illustrate the vertical air movement. There's lots going on. First of all, in the cumulus stage, you notice all updrafts. Then in the beginning of the mature stage, you notice some downdrafts. You'll see heavy precipitation right here going on. You'll also notice a an anvil beginning to form, indicating right here at the top of our cloud which way the winds in the upper levels are blowing. We'll also see lots of violent precipitation later on. There will be hail, thunder, and lightning. The hail can be the size of golf balls and can cause some serious structural damage, even to the largest airplanes. The last stage is the dissipating or dying stage of a thunderstorm. There will be lots of downdrafts in here, a few updrafts still going on, but this storm is now dying off. You'll still see lots of precipitation in these systems. A thunderstorm can be very unpredictable, and for that reason, it's because they're so short-lived storms. The birth, the death of a thunderstorm may be only 45 to 90 minutes. It makes them very dangerous, very strong storms, and also very difficult to predict. Now, again, here's what to look for in a thunderstorm. Lots of updraft activity going on right here. Again, at the very highest levels, here's our anvil-shaped cloud indicating storm movement. On both sides, you'll see wind shear turbulence. Now, out ahead of the storm, right here, our first gust. And down here, you'll notice that colder, denser air coming out of the storm. Lastly, watch for this. Rotor or roll clouds right here, which can be the start of what can become tornadoes. Uh, any suggestions on how pilots can judge uh, you know, appropriate distance from you know, known thunderstorm activity? Visually. Visual avoidance is the best. Uh, nothing, radar is nice, data link's nice, but uh, nothing beats uh, having a, a, a good eye right on the weather and seeing the buildups so that you can visually fly around them. Uh, the the uh, best uh, rule of thumb is uh, they say 20 mile avoidance, stay 20 miles away from the buildups. Uh, which is good. Uh, you have a hard time uh, distinguishing what exactly 20 miles is when you're flying along, but uh, uh, it's important to stay visual. Uh, you say 20 miles, that's great. Uh, just make sure it's off the wing there and, uh, and well away from it. Uh, that's the main thing, visual avoidance.